Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Keystone Springdale 271 RL. This particular model is in the Kona interior. Let's start off on the ceiling here. This is one of the things I love about the Springdale. You have this beautiful vaulted ceiling, gives you a lot of extra headroom. That way when you're camping for extended periods of time, you don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. You'll also notice that it does have a ducted AC here with quick dump and LED lights running all the way through. Now this is a rear living coach. Let's talk about the rear living area. Right here is a very comfortable tri-fold sofa. Uh, if you're not familiar with the tri-fold, it's the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV, not only because it's comfortable to sit on, but also because it's comfortable to sleep on. You actually use the cushions of the mattress here, at, or the sofa here itself. You can see that right there, so nice and comfy. That's what you'll sleep on. And it's easy to make up. You pull the two cushions off, you can see a handle there, pull that out, flip the back down, and there you go. Uh, of course, big windows here as well, let in some natural light. You have windows on both sides of this super slide too. And you can see you have storage right up top, decorative glass there on the outside as well. So we move to the back here. This is probably the uh, most comfortable seat in the house. Well, double seats here. You can see that you have the nice recliners. So, uh, you know, these are great. This is where you want to sit, take a load off, you know, if it's a rainy day or maybe you're out, you know, working, whatever it may be, this is where you want to sit. You have the nice little end table right in between there for any beverages, anything like that. And you have a huge rear picture window right here out the back. So if you do have a nice view, you can spin your chair around, be able to look out the back and enjoy that. Also two windows on the sides for cross ventilation and again to allow more natural light into the coach. LED light here in case you want to do some light reading and then up top you will see you have good additional storage. Right over here uh, underneath the kitchen cabinet use or kitchen countertop rather you see you have this nice deep drawer right here this is great for some easy access items you know you come right in the door grab it head right back out and then right over here you can take a look at that it's a great spot for a trash can that way it's easy to grab you know you just grab it right here head right out or whatever else you want to put in there moving around to the front you will see you do have the pull out drawer here that way you have a spot for all of your silverware cubby hole right there underneath another one right in the front of the sink here and then if you don't want your trash can over there there is still additional room right here underneath the sink but speaking of the sink let's go ahead and take a look you'll see they do give you a sink top cover that way you can use this as prep space it is cutting board quality so if you want to flip it over and use it as a cutting board you can do that uh, but when i take it off you'll see the nice large single bowl sink single bowl sinks are great if you uh camp with residential cookware because you can actually fit them in the sink to be able to wash them easily especially with the high rise pull out faucet that you get Right behind that, you have the window there, again, let in some natural light, be able to see out to your campsite. On the side here and over here, you have electrical outlets. So you have kind of a dedicated spot right here for your coffee maker or toaster, an additional outlet there. And obviously you have LED lights there as well to help brighten up the kitchen. Uh, as we take a look up top, you'll see the fully functional hood here with the light and fan. Microwave directly above that. Weight of the units on there, just a touch over 7,000 pounds. And then you have good pantry space going all the way across the top. Right here is your three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output. And then underneath you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. Um, right up top here is your tank monitoring panel. Nice and easy to get to so you can quickly check. You know, if you're running the sink, make sure you're not overflowing your gray tank. You'll also see your water heater control here. You will notice that runs off both gas and electric. You can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery. Then right down here is your main drawers. You can see you have a bank of four drawers here. So if you don't want to put your silverware over there, you can certainly put it here. Have your serving utensils, hot pads, whatever else you need to fit in there. And then right over here is the nice large seven cubic foot fridge freezer combo. Uh, this is a Dometic fridge freezer unit, runs off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over. You can see how they have the nice plastic uh, going over the grates here to help protect it. Then same thing along the back. It actually has the fins that are covered. That way you don't damage your fins with any items that you put in there. Right up top here, some good additional storage, still fairly easy to reach. 
And then take a look at this over to this side. That is some excellent pantry space right there. Something you don't get very often, especially in a rear living trailer. You know, if it's a rear kitchen, sure, but having the pantry in a rear living is awesome. Moving over a little bit further, you get into your entertainment center. So, of course, TV right there, front and center. Uh, you know, the way it sits right now, it does have a nice angle right here to the dinette. But, of course, this is on a swing arm mount, so you can turn it around to be able to use it in the kitchen. Uh, you know, sitting on the couch, the chairs, wherever you may be. Underneath that is the, your uh, multimedia center. So this is your radio, CD player, and a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can do that. It controls the speakers both in here and the speakers outside, and it is also Bluetooth capable. It is worth noting that both the TV and the multimedia center are Jensen Electronics. I say that because manufacturers pay a little more for Jensen, but it is certainly worth it. They're top name brand in the RV industry because they're built specifically for the RV industry. They can take these shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from hot to cold. Right underneath here, you will see right there, you have some additional storage, perfect spot for your DVD collection. Uh, lastly, here in the living space, you have the dinette. Uh, this is obviously where you wanna sit and have your meals. You know, be able to play games, nice big dinette. And the thing I like about this table is this table, as you can see, is movable. You can actually take this out, move it over in front of the couch. This kind of swings down and it doubles as a coffee table, which is really cool because that way you have a you know place to put your feet up on the couch or a place to set things. So I really like the versatility that this table brings. Also, if you need additional sleeping space besides the trifold, the table again will swing down, it'll sit along. Uh, the seats right here and then you can take the cushions from the back put it on top of the table and that will create additional sleeping space on both sides you can see when I open that up that you have good additional storage there and it is very easy to access also you have a big window here and if you look right in between the two windows you will see you have dual USB ports so you have a place to plug in your electronics whether you're sitting at the dinette or on the sofa the bathroom in the 271 has two entrances and exits, one right here into the master bedroom, the other one into the main living area. So you take a look over to the side here, you see your sink top and vanity. You have some nice uh, storage there underneath. Electrical outlet, of course, for hair dryer, uh, curling iron, anything else you need to plug in. And right above that is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Over to the uh, side here is your nice large Neo Angle shower. Uh, you'll see you have good shelving, hand wand there as well. And then up top, you have the nice big skylight, so you have additional headroom there, and it lets in a lot of natural light. Right over here is your vent. That way, after your shower, it can quickly help moisture escape. And then right down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet with plenty of legroom. The bedroom of the 271 has a walk-around queen-size bed, and it does lift up with uh, good storage underneath you will see it is strut assisted as well so it's easy to both lift and lower down if you take a look at the sides here you will see you have good nightstand space you have a nice pull out drawer there electrical outlets as well so if you need to plug in a cell phone CPAP machine something like that you have space in which you can do it also on this side right here they have a little trap door that lifts up that goes down into your pass-through, but it's really convenient when you're camping. So you can put uh, you know, a clothes basket down there and you basically have a dirty clothes hamper. If we take a look up top here, you see mirrored wardrobe on both sides. Nice hanging rod there. Storage across the top here. And an LED light there for reading. Take a quick look up at the ceiling here. Again, you have another LED light, a vent in case you need some ventilation through here. Right over here is your TV hookups, and then they did put a backer right there in the wall, so if you want to mount the TV, that is where it would go. Let's take a look at the outside of the 271 RL. We'll start right up front here. You'll see there is a power tongue jack. That way it's nice and easy to hook up or disconnect from your tow vehicle. There's also a light on there in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that, you have your propane tank cover here. There are two 30-pound propane tanks in here, so nice big tanks in case you're uh, taking an extended vacation. And it's nice and easy to get in there as you can just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door, and access both tanks. Behind that, you'll see rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front, you have the black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll see how it comes up nice and high here as well. 
Up above that, you have the smooth aluminum on the Springdale. It gives it a really nice look, especially you know while you're at the campsite. It's also a little bit easier to clean in case you're getting any bugs or anything on the front there. Coming around to the side, you'll see the pass-through storage compartment. Nice and big and open, so if you do have some you know, larger, wider items, you can still fit them in the door here. And then there's a light in there as well, again, in case you're getting in there at night. You'll see this unit does have power stabilizer jacks on both the front and back. They're trying to make life as easy as they can on you, so you have the power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks here, just less work for you. And then if you take a look up top, you'll notice you also have a power awning. So just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. And there's LED lights on there, so you don't have to get up and hang up your Christmas lights. Right here is your secondary entrance into the coach. This one does go into the bedroom. The reason this is really nice is if you have guests that are staying the night, they're sleeping on that trifold sofa, and if you wake up before them, you can easily exit the coach without disturbing your uh, fellow friends or neighbors, family, whatever, in the back. Right over here is an outside shower. This is really cool too. I like having it on the camp side because more often than not, it's on the off door side or sometimes in the back. But right here, it's nice and usable. You know, you're getting back from the beach, you need to wash your feet off, get all the sand off, you can do it right here. This does have both hot and cold water. Directly above that's your black tank flush. Now this is used when you're done camping primarily, uh, but what this does, instead of taking a hose and sticking it down the toilet when you're done camping to wash out your black tank, you just hook up the hose right here. The black tank has sprayers built in it and it will wash it out for you. This is a mount for a TV. So if you want a TV outside, it's already there. All you have to do is get a bracket, set it right in there, you're good to go. You'll see you have electrical outlet here as well as your cable outlet. So that way you have everything you need. And of course that is right here underneath the awning. If you take a look up top there too, you will see two outside speakers. I briefly mentioned those when we were inside as they are controlled by that multimedia center, but as I said, it is Bluetooth capable. So if you wanna sit out here and connect to Bluetooth, you can still control it from outside. You have aluminum alloy wheels on the Springdale, which are great. Not only do they look really nice, but they also help prevent any uh, rust or corrosion, nitrogen filled tires on there too. Right here is your water heater. As I mentioned, that one does run off both gas and electric and it is DSI, which is direct spark ignition. That way you don't have to come out here and light it. You can just do that from right inside there. Now this is your main entryway into the RV. You'll see you have three aluminum steps on here, which are great because the aluminum's not gonna rust out. And also you'll see they have rubber strips there for extra grip. Uh, I, both sets are aluminum. I know the, the first set of stairs weren't out. They are both aluminum there, but it, that's definitely a nice upgrade. The rubber, as I mentioned, helps give you that extra grip and you have the easy grab handle here too for uh, easy entrance and egress from the RV. This unit does have the Arctic package on there as well. So if you're camping in the colder season, it has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. That way nothing's gonna freeze up on you as long as the furnace is running. If you're one that really likes cooking outside, great. It comes with this arm here. Now it does not come with the grill itself, but you do have the arm. So all you have to do is buy the grill, put it right on there. You can swing that out and around and you'll see right underneath here is your propane quick connect. That way you can use uh, the two 30 pound tanks up front rather than buying the small little green ones. And if you don't use it at all, you can always take it off. Maybe you have your own grill you wanna plug in there. You can do that too. Uh, but I do like the fact that it comes with it. Right here is your spare tire. Notice that it does have a cover to help protect it from the elements. Hopefully you never have to use this, but if you do, it's really nice knowing that it's right back here. Electrical cord tucked away right here in the back. And then the huge rear picture window I showed you uh, when we were inside, you can see how nice and big that is. And then right up above that, you will see this unit is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want a backup camera, this makes it way easier to install. It's basically a plug and play. So that way uh, you can see you know, what's behind you as you're backing up. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Keystone Springdale 271 RL. This one had the Kona interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.